Hi, my name is Neil Horton and I'm a .NET trainer here at Centric Training. I'm here to talk to you about the Relational Database Design and SQL class as part of our Application Developer Track. This is the officially the third class that you'll take after going through two weeks of fundamentals and one week of HTML and CSS. Our goal really with this week is to get you kind of experience in, in the realm of database, relational database design and programming with with SQL, which is our primary language for interacting with a database. Pretty much any type of application that you're going to work with at some point works with storing all of its data or some of its data in a database. So it's a key concept as part of being a, an application developer, being able to interact with that database and store data in the database and pull data from the database and, and even to some degree as a developer understand how the, the, the database is designed even if you not as a DBA, might not be creating those databases, but you still have to have to understand how they uh, how they work and what the relationship what the relationship is between the different tables. So the process of, of creating a database, the first step is what we call normalizing that database. So we take all this this data that ultimately is interdependent, and we take that and, and create these different tables. So here you see we've got a products table and categories table for those products, and even suppliers for those products broken out into a separate table. By putting that data in separate tables, we're able to treat each one of those groups as kind of independent objects. And it kind of ties back to some of the things that you learn in fundamentals of, of C-sharp of creating objects and classes. Some of the same concepts kind of carry over when we get into uh, creating databases and learning SQL. SQL as a language itself will be one of the easiest programming languages that you learn. And notice we've got this products table right here that's got a product name as part of that table. If I wanted to pull out all the product names from our database, it is as simple as saying select product name. And we come down and say from what table that's going to come from, which in this case is products. Initially, that's as easy as SQL is. Now, we'll get deeper into that, but nothing to be intimidated by. It's as, as far as all the weeks of your track, you're coming out of HTML and CSS, which is a pretty straightforward week. This week should be about the same. Pretty straightforward. Language concepts aren't horribly difficult, and it'll be a fun class. Lots of good stuff that we'll do. So I look forward to seeing you in as part of our relational database design and intro to SQL. Thanks.